I want to go over a couple little tips and tricks using the square. Um, first of all, anytime you're cutting any trim at all, you always want to cut it to the length you need before you start making a miter or anything like that. So one thing I always do, or used to do, was I'd put the L metal up against the fence. When I'm cutting my trim, I always use it like a chop saw, right? But when I'm cutting my trim, if it's up against the fence, it gives you something to hold on to and it's not gonna fly out of your hand. When you hold your trim like this on a wet saw, you run the risk of that grabbing and flipping this upward into the saw and pulling out the saw. So what this square kind of eliminates that is we can slot it in here, press up against the fence, now we're holding this secure, right? So we're going to make our straight cuts like that. Now that we've got a, our straight cut, now we can go ahead and make our miter. We've cut it to the length we want, now we can make our miter. Now what I'll do with these is I'll set it to where it's about a 16th inch away from the corner. And I'm gonna use it like a chop saw. So when I start into this cut a little bit, and then I'm just gonna push this over into the blade, just like that, until I get to the point. Super accurate that way. Instead of trying to start on the corner and taking too much off, start a little bit away from the blade, start your cut, and then slide it into it. Take the razor knife, put it on the edge of your burr, give it a little slice. There is a nice clean miter. And you don't run the risk of cutting any fingers off or anything like that. You can get a nice clean miter.